All right, guys. So even though it's an elective, of course, you have to stay home and practice the ACT. And I don't know when you can take it. They may postpone it. They probably will. So that gives you more time to practice, right? So that's wonderful. And I did tell you to、uh, give you a link or, you know, paper-based grammar. And I found this online. I looked through it. It's pretty complete and have very simple explanations. So what I want to do today is to go through all the grammars that you're gonna use on ACT, and then you need to do one full, not full, one English test. You don't have to time yourself. Don't time yourself. Just take as much time as you need, and make sure you don't have extra help, but you want to get more accuracy.、Um, once you're done, check your answer. You know, like we did before, check your answer. Don't write your correct. Don't write the correct answer down. Just mark your answer right or wrong. Then redo. The questions that you did wrong. See if you can get it right the second time. If you do not get some question at the second time, take a picture of those questions. Okay, and then I have a file, or I have a、um, question file for English on Google Classroom. I want to to post those into the Google Classroom under the homework file. So. By, I mean, by Saturday or Sunday. So Sunday, I can take a look at those and make a video and go through the question you did wrong. All right. And I am going to post something every other day. So every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. Um, you know, just give you some supportive resources. Give you something that you can look at, so you can practice a little bit every single day, and hopefully you can do one full test every week. It's the same thing. And now that you have all the time you need, you cannot go anywhere, anyways. So stay home and practice. So be more ready, and your money will be will not be wasted. All right. I'll see you next time.